Hello viewers and my friends out there, it's Mr. Lee Nimes. I hope you're doing well. I'm excited to be bringing a video review to you of the DPX Hest Original Knife, and that stands for Dangerous Places Extreme Hostile Environment Survival Tool. It was designed by Robert Young Pelton, and he has spent a great deal of time all over the world in hostile and dangerous places. This model was made in the USA by Ontario Knife Company. Now, despite the smaller size of the DPX Hest fixed blade, it has many useful and unique features. Now, I've already provided some of the specifications of the knife on the screen. I'm going to go over those a little bit later on the video, but I want to go ahead and talk about some of the other special features. Now, it has a pry bar pommel, a wire breaker, a bottle opener, and a hidden storage area. As you just saw, I actually used the pommel pry bar to actually smash through some glass, and that's mainly what I use it for. I've actually found the pommel pry bar to be slightly uncomfortable in certain situations. That's why I do use gloves when I get really rough with this knife. That's just something to look out for. I know some of you out there, I've heard that you've uh, ground the little pry bar down, but it is definitely useful in some certain situations. So enjoy the footage here of some of the field testing I did on with this knife. And I have to say, this is actually a pretty extreme little fixed blade. I put it through a lot, a lot of trials and testing. I've carried it for uh, over a year now. And like I said, I put it to some really hard use. I have done all sorts of tasks with this knife, such as batoning, cutting, hammering, slicing, and piercing on all sorts of objects, such as live wood, dead wood, cardboard, plastic, and aluminum. Whoa, now for all you Coca-Cola haters out there, I still drink Pepsi too. I hope you enjoyed the footage of my testing and trials that I did in the DPX Hest. I had a really good time with this knife. Now I want to take a moment and talk about the sheath real quick. 
It's two separate pieces of kydex that is riveted together that has an adjustment bolt that you can actually adjust the tension of the draw on the fixed blade knot. It has a molly backing that is actually really well made that attaches to the back of the kydex. Now I will say that one of the rivets did come out of the sheath, but I did just simply replace it with some parts I had on hand. So that's something you may want to consider. I've definitely seen aftermarket sheaths for this knife out there. I have found the DPX Hess to be an excellent blend of a tactical and survival fixed blade knife. It is similar in size and style to the SE3. It is made up of a 1095 high carbon steel blade. It has a black textured powder coat with linen micarta handle scales that are removable that are attached with genuine brass hardware. The blade length is 3.13 inches and the overall length is 7.63 inches. I do feel like the overall fit and finish of this knife is very well done. It feels good in the hand. There's a little bit of light jimping above the bottle opener there. And I will say the only feature that I did not use on this knife was the wire breaker, the wire stripper, but I could see how that would come in handy in certain tactical situations. The last thing I'm going to show you is the hidden compartment underneath the handle scales. It comes off fairly easily if you just have a small screwdriver or some sort of washer. So uh, underneath there, the knife itself is skeletonized. And from what I've also read, you can turn this knife into a neck knife once you uh, drop the handle scales and you've lightened it up. Now I just have a few small survival necessities in there that I haven't actually had to use yet, but hey, you never know. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, please thumbs up. And if you uh, can comment, please do. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider it. So like I said, thanks and have a good one. It's Mr. Leonidas signing out.